Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, I'm hit. I'm in the... Oh, God. The cat's is right behind me. Fly. Oh, oh God. He's chasing me. He's chasing me. Uh, fly. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video, where today we are going to be doing a showcase video again, this time not on the paid for part of the DLC and update that has come recently. No, today we are going to be discussing, as much as we can at least, about the new um, free update. And we're going to actually need to start here, actually, which we're going to pause so I don't get overwhelmed by the shouting of people. But one of the things that was actually shown off in a little clip by um, Frontier themselves on their um, Twitter profile for Jurassic World Evolution is if we nope not there if we wish to con change it as you know it had the few options and such but if we go to su such things as the decorations actually oh wait no that's the same one it's the these ones so you have your usual ones but now they have actually added a few new ones which include where once we get oh wait nope i changed it nope there we go that's still the same that's still the same ah here's a new this one's a new one with the um swerved paths which is very nice the amber features which just to be clear all the new um decorations here are just the same ones except now they can be placed at the buildings as well and also you got the bamboo sticks and i believe that's also one of the fountains if i play yes it is but we're going to move on and yep and there we go there's the tarandons the um uh what are those uh, those are the yeah those are the torch torch towers which let's pause again i don't want to be too uh, the biosyn copper sculptures or at least some of them and some of the other um the lights which also that's going to be interesting and yeah that one was there too and yeah there we go we also so there's a few new ones just for variety as well i think that's pretty much it with the buildings from what i've heard but we need to go into decorations because we're gonna actually first start out here because we got a few new ones which are actually these with the flags because we've got a few Jurassic Park ones because so far most of the decorations have been Jurassic World themed but they gave us four new options which are Jurassic Park which we'll need to go into capture mode for this and I can probably play now without it being too much of a worry so if we start off here we've got a nice um, yellow one with some forest in the background Ground of it, very nice, very tropical looking. Then we got a nice red one with some foliage and the logo being a little oversized, but actually very nice. I like that one actually. And also, oh wait, no, they're not the same size. That one's just backed up, right? Uh, dang it. I was like, oh, is this one bigger? But nope, just I placed it a little closer. Then we got a gray one with a side angle, which very nice. I actually, I like these. I love the variety. I think my favorite has to be the last one, though, which kind of gives a Lost World feel as it's got the dark, um, dark forest look of it, which, again, is very Lost World. Like, I mean, the Lost World, it along with Fallen Kingdom, are the darkest films in the series so far. And this one feels... It feels like if this were a Lost World Park, you'd have, like, these, like, in your um, abandoned workers' village and stuff, and, like, them being more ragged and such. These these two are, like, Jurassic Park, and then this one's, like, in the middle, and then that one's, like, ooh, I've been roughed up. Just change the logo to be, like, the Lost World one, and it'd be perfect. But, honestly, a nice little addition. Hope we get more flags in the future, but I think that is it for decorations for that let me see do we have any more trees nope um let's see signs nope that's bios and such oh wait also yes we actually have well actually we have a new light which we'll need to come back to the lights this was the original um lights and you may be wondering um not many people have talked about this one actually and it's very interesting some people have wondered why do we have a new light it looks like pretty much a miniaturized one however if you go back and watch jurassic world dominion and go into the biosyn um dolomite i believe yeah the biosyn dome 
In the shot where Rexy and the Therizinosaurus sorry, triumphantly roar after killing the Giga, you may notice actually around the pathway that there are some small lights actually there, which are actually these ones, because this one is actually a Jurassic Park light from the first game in the Return to Jurassic Park DLC, if I'm not mistaken, or it came a little, no, it came with that, yeah. And this is a Biosyn one, which I, f I find is a nice little thing to add, because it wasn't with the Dominion pack, and not many people would realize it, but it's a nice little gesture just for those who were really paying attention to that movie. You can add it with all of your Biosyn copper um, lights and buildings, but now we will need to go all the way to our lagoon, which features some Styxosaurus, and also we're going to need to get out some f a few other creatures, which, let me just get those ready, stuff. But let's release the big one, because you're needed for this video, the Mosasaurus, which also, did they change the, the hatching animation? I swear they've changed that because it never used to do that like it like yes it peaked up a little bit but it never like it never did it that high I don't know oh a nice crocodilian roar but if you were to come down with me let's actually get an oh you might spot it already at least one of them because while all these guys are panicking at the realization that a giant is lurking in the shadows, which, I mean, this is really awesome how clear it actually is. Also, it might be that they're hunting the ichthyosaurus actually, which actually, ooh, it looks like they are actually. That's really cool looking. But if we lower down because we're not here for them, we're here for things like this because this is a true statement this is a mosasaurus cage although it realistically is actually the bull t-rex cage from the lost world but it is meant as a aquatic decoration because yes finally we can actually if we go into decorations we actually have a lagoon option which you may have noticed already also if you saw the previous video because this these all here are lagoon um, displays, such as some sails, you've got um, an, more sails, a fountain, which I really do like. Okay, I'm going to get into capture mode for a second, guys, because that is seriously clipping. Like, it's one of the issues with these. As soon as, like, you hit them, it's like, oh, got to ping you down or something. But this is a nice amber-filled um, fountain, which kind of nice. I actually like it. I would wish that, like, if they were to make them interact with these, it would be interesting like maybe you could see one of them like resting their head or something here like maybe the, some one if say one of the plesiosaurs were really tired they could just rest their head on here while they're floating and taking their breaths and then getting some nice cool fresh water on them but also here we've got some trees and some planters which these ones are nice actually because you can see that they're actually into the wall itself but the next one i'm kind of not really impressed by and it's this one which kind of this would one would definitely be better on like land or something because well it looks like it was meant to honestly because you can see that gap right there Unlike with the other ones, if I just turn around, there's no gap there. And even if we go under, let me just... Yeah, like, there's, there's these here, but it kind of is like, oh, wait, this was meant for land, but let's put it on the water and stuff. Which, a bit of a shame, but also we have the Mosasaurus flags actually here, which are the ones that are on the outside that you can put on the paths and such, but it's nice to have them here as well. Then you've got these interesting columns with some Jurassic Park flags, actually, which are the same flags that I just showed you earlier, at least these two are. Then you've got... Oh, nope, there's still some of these. And there's another one, which is somewhere... Ah, yes, here. We have the pylons with fire, which, again, is a Jurassic Park-themed piece and is very, very nice. And also, these ones work really well if you want to do them all the way around because unlike with... Um, oh, wait, what? Who's that? Oh, 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 well, somebody died. Oh, oh, 
What's going on here? Oh, 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 dear, oh, dear, oh. No, oh, it screamed. Oh, oh, God, he's giving it a yank. Oh, and chomps. Okay, so... Not... I, it's similar to other plesiosaurs, if I'm not mistaken. Like, interest... Interesting. So, yeah, there's another thing that I want to show for the Mosasaurus. Uh, also, um, it's kill animation against it, which means, unlike Chronosaurus, it's, again, one that literally cannot do anything against Mosasaurus. Which, fair. Like, I mean, just look at the um, body size in comparison. Like, Jiminy Christmas. Okay, guys, I've literally been trying to get that Mosasaurus to hit the damn wall for, like, nearly an hour. I've even implemented two in here, but unfortunately, it's just not working. I don't know why it's not hitting. They're supposed to be. Like, pretty much everything in here is comfortable. But we're going to move on for the... Well, excuse me, for the free updates now. Also, in decorations, we, of course, have all of these which of course the piece of resistance for these um underwater is of course the indominus rex skeleton that is right they finally did it we finally can have fallen kingdoms indominus rex scene well kind of we don't have the right sub which also we should actually do that for a second so if i am um, going to one of the hatcheries we can now do this we can pilot the drone, which I don't know if we can actually be injured in this, which, honestly, I'd love for them to give a skin, and it's literally the Fallen Kingdom one. Oh, uh, just imagine if this was it, like, just, um, where's that Indominus Rex skeleton? It's somewhere around here. Ah, uh, here it is. Just imagine it. It's like, you're in the drone, and you're lowering down... You're in here looking for the Indominus Rex. Then, boom. Cue the theme of the Indominus. There she is. And you lower down. Well, this is as low as we can go. But then suddenly, as you're getting close to it, you're backing up or something. And then suddenly behind you, boom, a Mosasaurus, like, literally eats you. I really hope that they allow these guys to be attacked as well because it'll be so good because like you could do so much with this also and also kind of it's just fun to be in here in the drone cycle like, oh my god where's where's the mosasaurus oh my god what is that thing it's the mosasaurus run i mean uh swim just keep swimming just keep swimming swim 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 stay with the ichthyosaurus at least that means the food's there but Anyway, that's that, and also, of course, there's all the other decorations for here, like, you've got some rocks, you've got some buildings, some lights, like, of course, the Mosasaurus cage, that's actually the Buck Rex, you've got, um, what's this? Huh, okay, that's a unique cage, I don't recognize that one, actually, it's like, th is that one some one that's from... A deleted concept art or something? It reminds me of the Jurassic Park 3 one, but that doesn't make sense because we already have that boat right here, which is a nice reference, even though realistically it'd be the Spinosaurus. Now, what would be really cool is if we got a giant ship, like a pirate ship or something that the Mosasaurus brings down, that's like you could put in the center of here, because like these are fine. But the problem is, like, honestly, there's, like, no interaction. Because, as you may notice with your aquatics, they they always are staying on the surface. And I, I, I don't like it, honestly. Like, I really wish that they would fix it. Or, like, either just, like, make this not as deep. Because, like, literally, they don't even go down here. Like, I've n the only time I see an aquatic creature down near the bottom is the Mosasaurus with its animation of eating the shark. And I think the Chronosaurus as well. That's literally it. So, like, while these are cool, they they don't really do good. Because, like, I've, I was actually trying to get a thumbnail for a video, like, with the Mosasaurus and the um, Indominus Rex skeleton while I was waiting for one to bash through or something. And literally, the lowest it got was, like, like, of this, wasn't even close up here. Like, it was still... You could still see it splashing its tail on the surface, which is very unfortunate. But, other than that, like, there's not really much new about the aquatics and stuff, which is a bit of a shame. But, 
Oh, good, they broke out. But we're going to need to add a few more friends, so let's add... Oh, yeah, I've got to do a video on this, like, glitch, but let's release some Barbodactylus, which is a new dinosaur. we got some Pterandons, and also we've got a few more here. Let's release some. Let's have them terrorize our guests and dinosaurs for a little bit. Ah, there you go. I know what you're thinking. This must be mods. What am I doing? Well, no, guys, I can't be doing mods because I'm on the PS5, so that's impossible. What is it? Well, there's a little bit of a glitch. Oh, yeah, it's madness in here because I turned on fence break, so yeah, pretty much everything's out here, but... Whatever, but also, we're gonna need some Quetzalcoatlus as well, because, well, they're important. Oh, that's loud. And here comes the giant, the terror bird. Missing fish, I understand, but you'll have some people, which are all screaming in franticness. But, you may be wondering why I'm... This is cool and all, but why am I releasing these? Other than it's awesome that now we don't have to literally wait for them to break out, because literally so far only three have broken out. But we'll actually do a more better showcase on this later. Oh, no, we don't need a car. We need a helicopter, because it's kind of... One thing that people have said is kind of weird with this game is how you can pilot this helicopter during breakouts and have no worries whatsoever. Oh, wow, the Tyrandons instantly went for the flags. <laughs> of course. But that has changed because if we just hover around for a little bit and give it a little bit of a wait, we may see something. Or is this going to be another Mosasaur situation where I'm like, oh, for gosh sakes, Oh, it may not. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my God. We got two already. Oh, oh, we're going down, Captain. Yes, that is right. Oh, God. I've got, oh, I've got three of them. Ugh. Oh, no. They're on my tail. Oh, jeez. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm going down. I'm sorry, Mosrani. I mean, uh, Dotson. The, oh, my God. I'm being chased. <laughs> Fly away. Yes, that's right. The Tyrannodon, the pterosaurs can actually, oh my god, they're picking everyone up as well. It's like, oh, we couldn't get the helicopter. Let's get these guys. Uh-oh. Am I surrounded? Oh no, I'm getting hit. Oh, I'm on the tail. Oh my god, am I going to crash before I even get to see the Ketsa do it? Oh, oh, jeez, let me go. Oh, oh my god, this is, oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, I'm hit. I'm in the, oh god, the Ketsa's right behind me. Fly. Oh, forward. Jesus. Oh, it's madness. Oh, sorry, people, you're on your own. Oh, oh god, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Oh, fly. Dodge him. Oh, I lost him. Uh, there's no one in front of me. Oh my god, I'm flying right towards three. What am I doing? Okay, so yes, as you can see from this hilarious bit that will probably be the intro to this video, pterosaurs can absolutely wreck the heck out of your helicopters as my Biosyn door is actually glitching. Oh god, dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Do oh god, I gotta swing any way, any direction. I have no idea what's going to happen. Like, am I just going to crash? Oh, my God. Let me crash. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, wait. What's it doing? Oh, is it going? Oh, is it going to kill him? Okay, so interesting. Oh, God. He's face through the ground. Okay, so Tyrandon so far have gone for me. No! I'm hit. Oh, wait. What? I'm, I'm broken. No. No, you're not telling me it's... Okay, so... Are you ser- Oh, that's a letdown. Really? It doesn't crash? No! Insert Darth Vader. No! Why? We were so close. That was so fun. That's gotta be the intro to the video, guys. Honestly, because that was cool. Well, let's get the other one. So, yes, it is true. This update allows pterosaurs to attack your helicopters. Now, as of this video's showcase, only the Pteranodons actually did it, so maybe there's going to be a so size limit, although I think that Quetzalcoatlus was going after me. There's no doubt about it. Literally, I had to fly away. Also, this Pteranodon's getting a little bit bold. Oh, what do you want, buddy? You think you can take me on? He's like, nah, I'm just going after these people. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, God. I think there's one that's coming. Oh, God, he's going after me. Oh, jeez, dodge. Aha, I got away from him. But let's just lower down. Hey, Brax. Oh, no. 
No! No, I'm hit! Oh, God, I got another one on me. Oh, just pesky birds. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, Barbadactylus, can you attack? You got anything to say? Barba! Barber! Come on, buddy! Nope, oh, nope, just lying on the flag. Oh, I see how it is. No, oh, Tyrandon's picking up someone on there. Very nice, very nice. Oh, wait, we got someone here. He looks like... Oh, it looks like we might have some bold contenders. Oh, for God's sakes, Tyrandon, go away. Bugger off. I didn't say you could get on. Oh, jeez, I'm being picked at. That's not nice. Oh, I need a Quetzalcoatl. Listen. Oh, what's he gonna do? Come on, come at me. Come on, bring it. Oh, for God's sakes, Tyrandon, leave me alone. I need the cats of the test. Oh, let me go. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, he is looking at me. Oh, for gosh. Oh, he, he, he did a headbutt. He did a headbutt. Oh, my God. I got literally all of them chasing me. Run. I mean, fly. Fly away. Oh, this is so cool. Like, literally, you could do a challenge of, like, try and last five minutes with, like, make, like, a hundred pterosaurs of all of the categories. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, Pteranodon. No. Uh, Oh, that's a shame. Oh, and a person got eaten. Oh, he's going to hit me. What's he going to do? Oh. Oh, my God. He just absolutely annihilated me. Okay, so Quetzalcoatlus is very dangerous, which so far, it just headbutted me, but we got two helicopters left. Let's try it out. We're going to do another video on this, like, literally, that'll be just, like, a silent video showcasing all of it. Hey, uh, Ketza, can you, um, can you see what happened? I've heard that, like, the Ketza can eat s the people, or, like, the people can fall out. Oh, he's roaring. He's like, hey, what's this? Come on. Hold on. Oh, wait, what? Excuse me, why'd I go there? Okay, so I just got hit. How much damage did you do? Oh my god, he almost did half. Uh, we've got two, guys. We've got two. Oh! Oh my god, they're both hitting me. Oh, that was so cool. Is it? Oh, it's destroyed. God damn it. Okay, we've got one last one from the DFW. Can it withstand the Quetzalcoatlus that's about to eat someone? Oh, oh, oh God, it dived in. It's like, we I'm going in. Oh, my God. I'm ma what the? What's it doing? What's it doing? What's going on? Oh, my God, it's in the water. Jeez, Ketza. We got a f f swimming Quetzalcoatlus. What's going on? I I'm so confused. Is it fishing or something? What the? Um, um, game? Are, are you okay? Kitsa, what are you doing? What's going on in there? Oh my god, is he trying to like... Come on, get out of there. Oi! Look, you're being surrounded by ichthyosaurs. Get out of there. Yay! He's done it! The catch has gotten out. He's like, what the? What the hell just happened? Okay, that was weird. I have no idea what that was, but the Quetzalcoatlus... Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, damn it. He's like, oh, look at him. He's like, I'm picking myself. All right, I'm chasing you down. Oh, I faced through him. Damn it, he's got that tactic on pretty well. Oi! Oh, wait, can you eat me? Can can they eat the people? Wait, there's no other pterosaurs. Like, I don't want to be given a heart attack from the side. What's going on over here, boys? Uh, nothing over here. No shadows approaching, which means no ketzes. Right? Uh... I have... Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ! What the hell? Oh, oh god, he's phasing through again. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, he's landed. Uh, I don't want to return to base. I want to see if there's another animation, because so far I'm only being head-butted. I've heard that you can eat me. Like, you literally, like, spin the helicopter around. What else can you do to me? Come on. You, you head-butted me again. Very nice. Uh, 
All right, he's lining me up. Okay, I'm just gonna go higher up and see what he can do. Maybe it's a height thing, because it keeps clipping into the building. Because, oh, there we go. Oh, go oh my god, jeez, he yeeted that thing. No! Don't let him get away! No! No, don't let him know! Ah, oh, for gosh sake. Okay, so the Quetzalcoatlus can indeed absolutely annihilate the helicopters. But, we're gonna have to um, purchase for repairs. And... Okay, so now, we're gonna have to go into the heart of the danger zone. We just have to, like... Hold on, let's go up high. Because, like, let's just observe. Let's just literally wait here, because I know there's another one. The People have said that the Quetzalcoatlus has two animations. Which, and I know that, like, depending on where the um, Tyrandon lands, it also will actually, like, drop the person or something. Or is that, like, I've heard that, like... I want to see this person get eaten. It's nothing personal. It's just we're here to test. And just like the poor homalocephalus, your lab, lab assistants, though you're not getting paid for this because, well, why are we paying a dead guy? Oi, wake up. Come on, wake up. Out of bed. I'm getting sick of you. Come on! Wake up! Wait, stimulant? What the hell does this do? Oi! Come on! Wake up! Out of bed! Come on! Oh, this guy's awake. He's like, you what? Okay, that's creepy. Just like that eyeball just staring at you. Okay, let's get up. Okay. You are in direct contact for another animation. What is it going to be? The uh, floating underneath of me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was the um, sound effect that they used when they hit the pl when it hit um Kayla's plane. That's so cool. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, they're snapping at each other now. Okay, come on. I know there's another one. You can do it. Oh, oh, cut. Oh, God. Okay, this is getting serious, like... Oh, God, Jesus. Okay. Oh, he just faced to the map. Ketza, no! Ketza, can you hear me? Oh, uh, he just faced through the map. Oh, is he dead? Oh, no. I think I just killed the Ketza. Let's go into the heart. Let's find some pterosaurs. Well, we got a Quetzalcoatlus here. He's looking for some nice, beefy human. Now, can you please eat me? Alright, what are you going to do to me? Yeah, 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 the hit. Oh, oh, he's picking at me, too. Oh, you're an nasty Turandon, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, he's squeaking. Okay. If you're going to headbutt me, then you're not going to gill at me. Oh, for gosh sakes. Come on, man. I need to see the other animation. Oh, God, dodge. Okay, if this helicopter dies because of... Oh, no, Tarandon, you're not having any of this. No! No, he's chasing me down! Oh, it's a game! Oh, he's not gonna get me! No! Oh, I'm losing him! Ah, I lost him! He gave up! Now let's rise up. Up, 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 How high can we go? Oh, my God, is this the limit? Come on, hurry up before that Tyrandon gets here, Ketza. Good God, you're a giant. This shouldn't be that hard. Oh! Oh my God, hold up, pause. What the hell? He just grabbed it. What? What the 
telephone. What the hell was that? Oh, come on. Are you serious? He does something different. So he grabbed the tail and sort of like yanked it. That's a different one. That's not the one I heard about, but I guess I were all oh, hello. Dropped you. Sorry. Bye bye. Okay, so we are going to have to wrap this up here. The showcase map has been destroyed, basically. Like, oh my god, there's nothing left in here. The Mosasaurus killed everything, pretty much. There's no Sixosaurus left. What about this one? Oh, wow, all the Ichthyosaurus are still alive in here. That's hilarious. Oh, oh wait, no. Just a new Ketza joined. Are you still, um... Oh, he's hungry now. Yep, he's still dead. He's still phased into the map. That's unfortunate. Hold on, can I save him? Also, interestingly, the um, Barbadaculus didn't attack me, so maybe there's like a size limit, which kind of makes sense, actually, in a way. Because, like, I don't think, like, Dimorphodon would go after a giant helicopter. It just doesn't make sense, but... Who knows, maybe I'll, I'll test it out a little more, like show all the animations, but if you've enjoyed this um, final showcase of the free update, it wasn't really all the free update, it was literally the Mosasaurus Lagoon and then like getting attacked by a helicopter. Well, leave a like, oh wait, no, there's one more thing. There's one more thing we gotta do first. And we're gonna do this right here, right now. So give me a second and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're back. But, as you can see around here... Oh, look at that Tyrandon. He's like, this is my rock now. And also, God, I'm so glad I played that challenge mode because now I have the proper Jurassic World Tyrandon. Jesus, thank God. But, anyway, where was I? Yes, now you see there's a bunch of um, lights just scattered around. And you may be wondering why. Well... In the decorations, we have the usuals, we got the signage, we got the foliage, we got the park. The park itself is here, guys. We got the facility, which also, another thing also, we um we have the goddamn toilet. We we have it, guys. We did it. We we fought for it. We've got the toilet. It's here at last. Thank God. I thought I was gonna I thought I'd never be able to go. Because when you gotta go. You gotta go. And I couldn't go, but now I can. But anyway, we also not only have the lagoon, we now have lighting. But if you look here, actually, we'll also go into here and like add some, a few things. We'll add some variations and also some spinous skeleton, if we will. And also, I'd love to see how it looks on these. And of course, here. But. Why does it say chain edit light colors? Well, if we go into night, as you can see, all of these lights are yellow, but let's change them to red. Yes, or change it because yes, finally our calls have been answered and actually these ones are, well, this ones are different. Now, on the buildings, if I'm not mistaken, you could always change the colors of the lights. And it was like for the buildings only. As you can, cause yeah, I customized these. Like if we go into these, um, if I go, lights are green here. And lights are blue. Yeah, so these buildings always had like, you didn't really notice it because nobody plays at night in sandbox. Oh, Barbadactylus just got him in the back. Oh, a nice pick. But we can finally do it with these guys, which honestly is awesome because if we look at this, like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let's change this to a nice blue. Oh, yeah. Hold on. No, no, no. You stay there, you Tyrandon. And let's go into capture. Well, actually, let's go into sandbox settings. So, if we go into capture mode, look at how this looks. Like, just the variety of colors here. Like, this yellow um, amber statue light for the fountains. This one being blue. This is going to change. And this, of course, happens just as I finished one of my um, parks that literally I needed the lights just to make it work. 
Of course, now they change it, but I don't think I need to change the colors on that part, because, like, spoiler alert, it has something to do with a certain knight. That's all you're going to get until the tour video. But this looks just so cool, and, like, you can actually, like, if we go into decorations, like, look at all the colors you can do. Like, I want to change this to, um, let's try dark blue, like, yeah. Or, I wonder what color was in the movie, like... Or even pink, yeah, let's see. Oh, that actually looks very sharp, very nice. Oh, very, oh, that is cool. Can we change, okay, so we can not change it on, like, these buildings, but also look at the spino here, a little bit of purple, some green, regular yellow, orange. That That is going to be so good. And, of course, since Christmas is coming, or Halloween even, yeah, I can make a Halloween, use the lights to light up the park or something that is going to be so cool also you can do it of course with these and if we go into like the decorations this one is like to inform you of every single one you can edit the lighting for so like these guys all here they're okay for like changing the lights and stuff other ones are like oh no you can't do that so like if i were to go um place this and then like if i go into here edit lighting I can't edit these lights. These lights are the way they are. But that is it. Now that we've got this, let's um, play this again. That is... Okay, I'm going to put it on a helicopter and just, like, literally fly it around as I do my outro. But this has been the um, free update showcase, which, once again, the free update for Jurassic World Evolution is leagues better than... The paid for. Like, the paid for is literally just the dinosaurs, and I think that's literally it. Other than that, there's, like, nothing else that comes from it. Other than, like, new animations, and, like, it's awesome. Like, I like new dinosaurs and stuff as much as the next and stuff, but the free updates are really where it goes. Like, oh, look at that. Those pterosaurs right on the amber one. That is so cool. But... Honestly, guys, this free update, just the pterosaurs being able to attack the helicopter, you heard me. I was, like, going, oh, my God, this is awesome, and, like, oh, dodge it, look out, which also probably going to have to do in a second here. But, you know, I'm right in the death of Oh, oh, God. Oh, he got me. But, guys, on this note, as the Tyrannodons come around and are like, oh, let's give you some nibbles. Oh, he's going for my tail ends. Oh, that's got to hurt his beak or something. Oh, the pedicure's over. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate a like. And if you... Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, my God. The Barbadaculus killed that Tyrandon. That was... Oh, brutal. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, guys... As the music crescendos for the epicness of this, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Ow, my nose!